Hello fam and welcome back to our channel Deb Chanel's 48th World featuring the family affair. Oh yep, we got some things to talk about about Miss Nene League signing. Evidently she got a contract for season 13, but like I said, some back way back when I either heard it, saw it, or one of my YouTube family members told me that she got offered a three-year contract. Uh, starting with 2020 so that means her contract wouldn't be up to 2023 so that's what she negotiated that she have a three-year stink on the show in a sense so her not getting the contract uh was kind of premature since she's already known she was gonna have three more years with the show guaranteed okay because we know she is a forerunner for the show and that's just pretty much how it is. We we can't not have Real Housewives of Atlanta and not see Nene Leakes on it. Even if she's a friend of the show, she's a full-time peach holder, or whatever. You know, she just has to be involved with everything. Okay, just like I can't really see Mariah not on Married to Medicine. Even though she keeps, or she has a time where she's not in a particular season for whatever reason. It doesn't matter when she comes back. It's, it's almost like she never left. But that's just how I see. I, that's how I see Nene on Real Housewives of Atlanta. And I can't believe Andy would let her go. Because <laughs> who would he fuss with on the show of the Real Housewives of Atlanta? Who would he get a kiki off of? Or, you know, just so much extraness. It damn sure wouldn't be Kenya Moore. Because I don't really think Andy cares too much for Kenya Moore. It's just... You know, how they have light banter with one another. Okay, it's almost like he will accept Kenya because she bringing the numbers. But it's not somebody that he really would like he want to fool with. So, and we know he adores, adore Portia. Portia won him over a long time ago. But who wouldn't? Portia just kind of just sneaks up on you. Just like a, a quick high that you didn't know you were going to catch for a from a particular drink or a smoke and it just creeps up and it's like oh i like that i i, I kind of like that so that's how i think he feels about miss portia but getting on into this salacious story i want to know what you all think because when i uh read it or read the topic of discussion on my social media feed i'm like oh that's something i can go talk to my family about and get their opinions on subject matter but anyway we bring out a story from celebrity insider and we have Ricky Mathers over there breaking out the story for us for her employer, Celebrity Insider. Uh, look them up. They do have entertaining type um, articles being written by staff members, of course, about different celebrities and their comments and goings. Of, co of course. Okay. All right. So uh, she titled her article, Nene Leaks was offered a ROA contract. Has not signed it yet because she is in talks for bigger things. Now I'm like, girl, what, what, what things you got going on, girl? <laughs> what things do you got going on? What big things that you want to say goodbye to the Real Housewives of Atlanta, honey? Your main platform that supports all your endeavors of other business adventures you like getting into adventures. Um, yes, we know that steady income with the Real Housewives of Atlanta is helping pay some of those bills and those employees as well. And of course, your lifestyle or how you like living. But anyway, um, let's get into the article and then we can pretty much find out what she's trying to do. Uh, that don't have Bravo names written all over it. But going into the lady's article, she writes, Rumors ran rampant that Nene Leakes got the boot from the Real Housewives of Atlanta franchise. After shooting down the claim, a source close to Nene is spilling more details about the future of the Queen of Atlanta. Okay? As it turns out, Nene was offered a contract to return for season 13, but has yet to make a decision on if she wants it or not. This is due to other offers being made to her for multiple projects. Now, my sidebar, and I'm just going off of what I've seen Nene pretty much get herself into when she wanted to uh, throw caution to the wind and thought she was going to be on a television pilot or it really wasn't a pilot at the time because 
um, that show Glee was out for about four or five seasons, I believe. And uh, she was supposed to be coming in as a new uh, protege to the show and hopefully bringing a little here and there of a little bit more uh, crowd pleasing uh, viewers to the show if she was going to be featured on it. And she only had, like I said, maybe three or four scenes or uh, episodes and, and just a small cameo scene that they were featuring her on. And to me, she really wasn't that believable of an actress or whatnot. But, you know, she's just getting her feet wet in that type of platform. And maybe she would have kept studying the art itself and uh, doing small uh, theater plays or whatnot, it would got her better in the acting skill. But it seems like once she got um, canceled off the show, because the show ended up, you know, being canceled or whatnot, uh, and not going into signification, I don't think so. Uh, excuse me, Nene just put that whole acting gig you know, behind her in a sense, and hopefully trying to pick it up later on down the road, which that never came into fruition because she just kept taping with Real Housewives of Atlanta, going on other uh, business ventures, opening up more swag boutiques, and uh, possibly getting herself into a little bistro or a jazzy type club with a little uh, kitchen built inside of it where you can get your little appetizers while you grew to some tunes, you know. That's what was out there uh, just recently that she was trying to probably bring out to fruition as well. But uh, we have yet to hear from that or any other talks about that. So that's pretty much, you know, understandable. But um, yeah, so I guess Nene is shopping for her own spinoff show. Similar to, I guess, Vanderpump Rules, if is what I'm hearing, where they're going to be trying to uh, follow her around to her uh, three different locations of her swag boutique and trying to film her uh, with real ordinary everyday people and her managing her staff and trying to keep them on point and possibly showcasing some uh, shoppers of her or consumers in her shop that are trying to patron her business you know maybe you know she's gonna do some ndas or what what not non-disclosed uh, agreements where they can't talk about anything they pretty much see that nini had put out there on her own self you know far as taping purposes they, they don't want anything if it's gonna make nini look in a bad idea they, they don't want it to be talked about so that means you can't go on your own accord just because you witnessed it or whatever. You can't go running your mouth to the public or TMZ or anybody like that trying to make money out of her. That's a no-no. So um, that's the premise of the show, uh, allegedly, that she's trying to get together or whatever she's trying to do in the works. Because I'm kind of confused. Is that is that maybe a non-competing a competing type clause where she's not supposed to be a part of another show or she's part of a... Uh, another show here in Atlanta is that like a non-complete cl clause but I'm sure Andy Cohen with uh 86 that idea if she tried to do something that was gonna I guess generate more viewership and, and uh, blow the numbers out the water if Bravo couldn't get their hands on it so I don't know I guess Nene is playing hardball and she's trying to find her worth that's still invested in the Real Housewives of Atlanta but yet trying to do some other solo projects since it doesn't seem like Bravo wants to give her own show because I know she's feeling kind of salty that um Kim Zosiak got her own show and really you know Kim Zosiak didn't really do too much on the Real Housewives of Atlanta anyway uh, to even have deserved a spinoff show. But she definitely has had the show for a long time. And of course it's filming her and her life. And people are pretty much watching it. I don't know why I'm so sleeping down y'all. I'm just yawning, yawning, yawning. I'm trying to think, did I take any medicine that had any sleep aid in it? Probably so. I took some Tylenol for my arthritis. So that may have a sleep component in it. But I'm not sure. But we're going to press on through this interview. Because we're just trying to see what Nene out there trying to do. Okay. Make more money, more money, more money, I guess. And uh, trying to sweeten the pot to see how well Bravo want to counter offer. Where she may be getting paid from another show. 
filming purposes of just showcasing her and then what they want to pay her far as you know uh staying with them if it is a non-complete competing clause that she may have to be looking at but uh I, like i told you all in the past you know you can't make somebody find your worth and pay you for it you know because you're going to always heal you held yourself up to the highest standard of I need to be getting I need to be getting top dollar and then some because I am the shit that people come to see. I am the piece of resistance that is the showstopper uh that people come in and watch for on the real housewives of Atlanta and I need to be paid for that. And so, you know, I don't know how much Nene is making, but again, don't bite the hand that feeds you because they will counter offer you if they want to. And if you don't want to go with what they got to, you know, to uh, offer you, then they might say, fuck it. You know, we don't need you going out there like you did before with the glee thing. And then you had to come back knocking at our door. And of course, you were still hot. We could use you at the time. And it just is what it is. We brought you back. Now, this might not be the second go around that you'll be able to knock on that door, Bravo, if the stuff don't work out with this new pilot stuff you're trying to get. Because from my understanding, it's not a green light type deal. It's more so y'all in talks. Yes, you do bring in the ratings and the numbers, NeNe. You have some likability out there uh, for a number of people to be judged upon whether they should give you a show or not. But... You also a loose cannon too, Nene. Your mouth get to run and you bring in lawyers and this and third and you know, they don't even know where to come or where to go hide in a sense. You know what I'm saying? So this is my theory around it or what I'm feeling when I'm reading this uh article that the young lady wrote up. Okay. But going back to the article, it says, um, although the insider doesn't say whether it's a spinoff or another role on television, she's in talks for something bigger. The sources tell Hollywood Life she was offered a contract, so it's her choice at this point if she wants to take it. Uh, she's been weighing all her options, and it's going to come down to the right deal and money. Of course, it always comes down to that. But then again, Nene, you know, nothing is for certain. Now, if you're feeling kind of uh, flighty, you, 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 you're feeling yourself, and you want to just throw caution to the wind, and go on and jump ship, baby. Go on and make it do what it do, and hopefully it works out for you. But if you leave Bravo when they say they need you to stay with them, uh, to continue making them rich and you go against the grain, you know, you may be taking a chance there. They may not want you back. But like I said, you got to live your own life. You got to make your own decisions and what's best for you, not the people that's calling the shots and trying to get you work, okay? So, you know one devil, you know, you want to mix around and, and play with some more devils? I, I don't know if that's going to be, but hey, that's your choice. And then we just out here you know, just reviewing everything you try to do out there that we feel like we want to talk about. Okay? But, uh... Going back to the article, it says, Nene just wants a fair deal for her and to get what she feels she's worth. These projects wouldn't prevent her from doing housewives, though. Oh, okay, okay. So, everything that she's working out is on the side. So, but then again, it's kind of it's kind of dicey because if you are on a, a sitcom type show that you're trying to promote, uh, Nene, is it going to interfere with your taping? That you're going to be doing and needing to be doing with the Real Housewives of Atlanta. That's the pretty much key of it all. But like I said, if it's not a non-completing uh, uh, competition type clause, then maybe you are, uh, you know, straight. But I don't know because it seems like if you go into another reality show or whatnot, then that's kind of in the same ball game that you're playing in now. So, I don't know if that type of clause would prevent you. But, I mean, hey, it says in this article it's not going to prevent you. So, get it why the fires are uh, ringing hot for you, I guess you would say. So, it really shouldn't even be an, uh, a discussion. Hell, yeah, I'm going to sign this contract. If it was me at Bravo, then I'm going to go sign this other contract. I'm just letting y'all know what it is so y'all be coming back saying, I'm infringing, I'm breaking my contract, I'm doing this, that, and third. So, like I said, it's something funny about that because if Nene hadn't signed 
And when the hell somebody gonna tell me they want to give me my own show, and I ain't be, be like, uh, let me check with these folks over here that I'm already employed by to see if it's gonna be any infractions, any you know, uh, loopholes that's gonna prevent me from making this Real Housewives of Atlanta money as well, because I can do both. I can juggle. Now, I may not be able to do it when I hit sixty, but I'm gonna be pushing hard in my early fifties. You know, trying to salute myself to an early retirement if possible. Well, I don't have to be on nobody ratchet TV show. But I just go around doing interviews and stuff or write some more books and things of that nature. Make some more appearances. And, you know, because I'm getting old. I ain't getting younger. So, uh, we need to be downsizing versus upstaring and, and, and up showcasing. You know what I'm saying? So, um, basically, that's just my pun intended. That's just how I saw things. But... I am not Nene, Nene is not me, so it just is what it is. We're just making opinions and assumptions over here. That's all, and that's all we have. And we're not saying none of this is true, no, none of this is false. We just speak it out mind for those who want to parlay and come in with us and do the same. All right, but going back to the article, it says, They went on to say that Leeks knows that she is a staple on the network, but whether she chooses to return or not will all boil down to the money. Nene knows she helps makes the show what it is. It's not about who is or isn't on the show for her. She can work with anyone. Now, I disagree. <laughs> Let me just do some pun intended. Hell, she couldn't work with Kim Zosia. yet. When Kim was there, she couldn't work with Sheree. And I hear Sheree trying to come back. They're trying to sweeten the pot for Sheree to come back. I don't know why. Why, 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 why? Unless Sheree don't got married and, and, or, or her and her ex-husband are remarried. Or some type of drama going on. Other than that, we don't need Sheree to be the bone collector. Unless Candy in the league. Or we don't need two people doing the same thing. That's ridiculous. But anyway, going back to the article. It says she can work with anyone. Uh, Portia and Marlo are the only people she can actually... She has actually spoken to since the reunion. Though she's not friends with most of them, it's a job for her. And it doesn't bother her who isn't or who is coming back. It's not influencing her decision whatsoever. She does the show because she likes the platform it provides for her. But she's also talking about a few other projects. So she wants to take her time decide, deciding what is best. Uh, it'll most likely come down to the financial negotiation working in her favor but that's the hold but that's the hold up and uh they end it with what do you think about nene has cooking up and i'm like shoot I, evidently there's gonna be some non uh competing clauses going on because if it wasn't that and that's not the um uh, thing that's keeping her from saying yes i don't see why she would sign the contract I mean, if it's a no completing uh, clause that's not enforced, that's not holding her back to participate in any other lucrative deals that she wants to get her hands in, then, hey, why haven't she signed the contract uh, with Bravo? Because I'll be signing that contract, the other contract, the other contract. I mean, I have jobs for days. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how much work they're going to get out of me with me having all these jobs. You know, maybe it's two hours here, two hours there, four hours there. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I think it's something bigger in the picture that they're not telling us because then it would be a no-brainer. Go on and make that money from Real Housewives of Atlanta. If they paying you four million, you wanted six. Hey, at least you got four. You're going to increase by two. All right. If you need to downsize, maybe that's what you need to do, Nene. Downsize a little. And then the money will be looking very nice in your pocket. But if you're trying to keep your older son in his house, then Brent, he might want a house laid on down the road because... I guess you got him on payroll, too, because it don't seem like he going to school or, or, or doing that. That You got to take care of him. Then you got Greg to take care of, you know. Then you got to take care of your grandchildren. Oh, it's just so much. So, yeah, you need all your jobs, baby. You need all your jobs. But the only thing you need to stop doing in the house, why stop clowning with them women? Just go on and cuss them out how you feel. Uh, that's relevant and, and keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to argue with Candy. You ain't got to argue with Candy shit. That, that ain't what it is. Just, you know, say what you got to say and keep it moving. Uh, and this new show, a new uh, ideal of another reality show you want to be on, get that too. Solidify that. Bring some more people's on, you know, and, 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 and uh, put some more people on so you can say, you help open the door for them, too, whether they want to recognize it or not. That's not your plight. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Keep your name out there, honey. Keep your name out there. Hopefully, you would try to 
keep it very kosher and friendly because you do be cussing folks out there out there and people don't call you doing it so that's not always nice but you know you know you can do what you're gonna do and people still gonna like you you're gonna have your haters you're gonna have your loyal supporters you know that's on everyday walks of life but girl honey get that bravo check get that other check too you working on get as many checks as you can because you ain't gonna be able to work you know your whole uh longevity a uh, whole lifetime down here. Hell, have some fun. Go somewhere and, and sit on somebody's island. Hell, get by you an island. Uh, but yeah, strike where the iron's hot. As many lucrative deals you can secure, honey. But that's all I had for this video, y'all. I thought it was very interesting. Nene trying to play fences. Like, they want me over here. What y'all gonna do for me, Bravo? Because I leave. Like, girl... You better secure that bag too and go on about your business. Try to holler for Barbara to pay you five seventeen million dollars, girl. No, no, they ain't gonna pay you that, Nene. Child, please, they be ready to get three or four more people up there that's brand new that people may start to like and gravitate to. They ain't gonna give you all that money, girl. That's why you got these other adventures. You ain't gotta beg nobody to see your worth. You just okay. You you still want me for this? Okay, give me two percent more, and then we'll call it a day. And then cut that off, and then you're going to negotiate some more deals, okay? And then they're going to look and see how valuable you were. And then when it's time to go back to that table, you'll see how more interested uh, they are in you because you, you're on another platform, and you're getting hits there as well, okay? How to be an executive producer or something, and you can, oh, you ain't getting young here. But anyway, that's all I have, fam. Y'all get down in them comments, tell me what y'all thought about it. Is Nene buying off too much she can chew? Or is she buying just enough to get her by? Or she need to strike up some more fires in that ire. I mean, strike up some more irons and put in that fire so she can blow all the way up, okay? Because like, right now she's saying she at 87% with Bravo and she need to be at 110, okay? I don't know what Nene doing. She always clowning over there, start shit. But she always come out smelling like a rose, now don't she? So she must be doing something right. But that's all I got to ha uh, say for this video. That's all I got to say for this video. Y'all got down, get down in them comments. Let me know what y'all think about subject matter. And I will see y'all next video. Okay. Peace.